Welcome to Funk You Up, the podcast that gives you the best of functional medicine, nutrition, and wellness in eight minutes or less. Welcome back, everyone. This is Michelle Miller, clinical nutritionist. And Samantha Winnicky, functional medicine health coach. So today, here on the Funk You Up podcast, we have a very cool topic that we get asked about all the time. How do I hack my hangover, Michelle? So I know none of you guys are ever drinking out there. So before we dive into this topic, Mother Michelle is going to come out a little bit. I have a couple disclaimers. Obviously, with hacking your hangover, we do want to talk about responsible drinking and kind of just making sure that we're doing this most responsible responsible way possible because we know that alcohol does have an impact on our body. We know that it really stresses the liver out when you're detoxifying. We know that it's putting extra stress on the kidneys as you are, you know, pulling different electrolytes from the body. It's dehydrating your body. And then also what I think a lot of people might not know that the impact of alcohol on your GI system is really interesting. So alcohol really starts to break down the gut integrity. And what happens is we may have heard us talk before about gut permeability or a leaky gut, this idea of the the tight junctions in the gut getting broken down by different inflammatory components. Alcohol is one of those. So we definitely know this is for certain things we just want to be doing on occasion because of the impact this can be having on our body. Agreed. But that being said, we do want to make sure that we give you the tools to be able to um, feed your body in the right way so that you can properly detoxify from the alcohol and be supporting your body best in those moments. Absolutely. So the first thing I want to start out with talking today is before you even start drinking, how to prepare your body so that um, you can protect it. So Michelle talked a little bit about how important it is to um, stay away from alcohol because of the way that it impacts your gut. But if you are going to be drinking, we want to make sure that we're providing that barrier for your gut and slowing down that absorption of alcohol. You mean I shouldn't drink on an empty stomach? (laughs) Please don't drink on an empty stomach. Um, Also, please don't prepare for a night out drinking by having greasy food. Oh, that's such a myth, right? I remember that in college. People saying like, coat your stomach with grease. Yeah, Yeah, have a burger. So that's actually, that's interesting because truthfully, the way that your body absorbs alcohol, the reason why you feel an effect from alcohol is because the alcohol is able to seep through the gut lining to be absorbed into the bloodstream. Um, And so, Samantha, why don't you kick us off with talking about some foods that help slow down that release of the alcohol into the bloodstream? Sure thing. So my ideal meal before you go out drinking would contain protein, um, a healthy protein source, uh, maybe chicken or fish. Salmon would be really great. It has a lot of omega-3s, very anti-inflammatory. My next step would be having a healthy fat on your plate. So something like avocado or a good olive oil dressing on top of some greens. I also want to make sure you have some healthy starches there, whether it's a sweet potato or some brown rice. Um, We want to make sure that you have a really solid base in your stomach. Yes, I think that's a great, you know, you you get the perfect combination, the protein, the carbohydrate, the fat. Um, You know, we're not talking about excessive amounts in terms of portion size or calories, but just appropriate portion size so that you're setting your body up for success to then be able to slow down the release of this alcohol into the bloodstream. Bonus points if you get in some antioxidants, lots of vegetables, fruits, maybe some blueberries or greens. That's huge, yeah. I mean, the the process of breaking down alcohol in the body does create oxidative stress, so those antioxidants will hopefully counteract that a bit. Perfect. And then we'll kind of step into the best way to actually drink alcohol. So the first step there is making sure that you're choosing your actual alcohol source wisely. One of the guides that I love that Samantha uses with her clients, um, if you're familiar with Bulletproof, uh, Bulletproof.com, they have a great infographic and it basically lays down this, this visual of a, a spectrum of all the different types of alcohol from you know wine, beer, different liquors, um, to even different types of beer and it really kind of gives it a a, a grade of the worst things to consume versus like the cleanest alcohol to consume. So I think that's often really helpful. That's a great resource that I love to use. We're going to link that in the show notes so that you guys can all access that. Cool. So what would you say are like the top, like the best things if you're going to drink? What are the cleanest ones? Probably something clear and filtered, something like vodka. Um, I also like tequila, gin, those, yeah, clear alcohols. Okay. And then I think it's also important to know it's what you're mixing in with these, Mm -hmm. you know, 
liquors too, because obviously if you're having something with a ton of sugar in it, you're kind of counteracting the fact of that liquor being a little bit cleaner than say like red wine or whiskey or something like that. Agreed. And then while you're drinking alcohol, there are a couple of things you can help to detoxify while you're drinking. So to help mitigate those effects, Michelle, do you mind running us through your favorite supplements you like to use? Oh, you know, I love supplements. So one of my favorites is, uh, activated charcoal. Uh, which one do you use? I use the coconut charcoal from Bulletproof. Yeah, I, that's that's a great one. There's a lot of good brands out there. Charcoal was originally used to help with food poisoning or stomach bugs, things like that. It's because it has a really large surface area, so it can it's a great binder, kind of bind onto things and pull it out of the body. So when you're drinking alcohol and you're able to take the the charcoal pills, you're able to detox everything a little bit faster, kind of pull all that out of the system. I should know if you take it, you may find that your stools are a little bit darker. That's not to be of concern. Um, that is just a natural process of the coloring of the charcoal. Um, but also because it's it's a kind of a chelating agent, it's pulling the bad stuff out. It also can pull some good stuff out. So this certainly isn't something you want to use on a regular basis. This is just like those once in a while occasions when you're drinking uh, potentially a little bit heavier. Um, you know, if you go to a wedding, this is a good thing to, to carry on hand because it was going to pull out all the bad stuff. It's going to pull out all the nutrients that you're consuming as well. Yeah, I absolutely know if I'm going to have some red wine, I need to be taking one activated charcoal with each glass. Oh, I love that idea. That's a great, that's a great rule. Yeah. And then another supplement that I love to use is glutathione. It's a master antioxidant. Um, we typically like to use, well, I typically like to use the Bulletproof um, Libosomal one. I, I do too. I swear we're we're recommending this to all of our clients. I love their, that brand. Um, I think it's just packaged really well. It's a quality source. I swear we're the ones that are causing them to be on back order. This is not sponsored at all. We just love no. that product. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no sponsorships. Um, but I do think in terms of glutathione, you want to look for about 500 milligrams. Milligrams. It has a pretty quick half life. So maybe if you take 500 milligrams, you know, the evening that you're drinking, or maybe when you get home, and then 500 milligrams the next day, that should do the trick. It's it's not only helping with detoxification, but it's also an antioxidant that's going to help with repleting those those stores of antioxidants, since your body's going through a lot of oxidative stress when it's drinking. Right, kind of like we talked about earlier, incorporating those an- antioxidants in your food. This is a great supplemental source. Precisely. Do you want to talk a little bit about hydration? So. With hydration, it's a delicate balance. You definitely can overhydrate but and, and actually deplete too many minerals in your urine, but you also can definitely underhydrate. So a lot of times we'll recommend like the one to one ratio. If you have one drink, have a, you know have an eight ounce glass of water for every drink. Um, I also like to utilize a lot of the electrolyte powders that I'll use when I'm working out. Sometimes I'll also mix one of those or or take one of those packets with me. And maybe at the end of the night, I'll mix that into a big glass of water and have that just because you're really trying to replete all of those those vitamins and minerals and electrolytes that you could potentially have lost. That's a great idea. I love that. So you've kind of, you've taken your supplements, you've had your alcohol, you've taken your supplements, and now you're heading to bed. And now you're just going to have the best, most restful night's sleep, right, Michelle? Probably not. So so alcohol, although we do feel like it helps put us to sleep a little bit faster, you know, you're familiar with that idea of like a nightcap. The issue is that it really prevents a lot of the REM sleep that we get. And that's when our brain is storing memories and processing thoughts and emotions. So we definitely, you want to try to get as much sleep after consuming alcohol, but you have to also understand that your body, your brain can only work so well when you're detoxing alcohol as well. Perfect. And then you wake up in the morning and I would say the next day, kind of treat it like you did before you started drinking. So make sure you're having balanced meals when you're waking up. Um, you know, make sure you're getting the healthy fats, starches, protein. You don't want to kind of just wake up and have carbs or fast or something like that. You want to make sure you replenish those nutrients and stay hydrated. And stay hydrated. You got it. All right. Well, well, thank you for listening and happy drinking. <laughs> Drink responsibly as we talk. To use some of our tools the next time you're heading out to a, a special gathering. And also stay tuned uh, following our socials. We're definitely going to have some bonus material and some other tips on our Instagram later this week. All right. See you later. You've been listening to Funky Up. Be sure to like, review, and subscribe for more daily tips on living well.